This is my newest little air cannon made from scrap. It has a 3 to 7 power scope sight on it, as you can see. The air cylinder is 6 inches long by an inch and an eighth diameter, tested to a thousand psi. The valve in the middle here is a small solenoid valve, a quarter inch solenoid valve. Electric triggering is uh, provided by a transformer, rectifier, and capacitor because unlike my other cannons, this is a 24 volt valve and I discovered that uh, at higher pressures, like 400 psi and up, that it prefers to open with a pulse of DC from a capacitor. So the black cylinder to the left of the transformer is a 680 microfarad capacitor which when I press the firing switch the cap dumps into the solenoid coil followed by the voltage from the transformer and rectifier. The little shock of the cap dumping opens the valve quickly for me, or so it seems. The breech is uh, bolt action, like so, and a BB loads in the little hole there, and you close it. The BB's held in place by a magnet because the barrel is brass. The barrel that you see is just an outside steel casing because the brass 177 tubing I used was very thin walled and you could practically bend it by sneezing on it so I put it inside a steel cover to protect it. The barrel itself is 36 inches long. I would have liked longer but I couldn't come up with any tubing that was really nice and smooth inside and also longer than 36 inches. So. A 36-inch barrel it is. I ran some chronograph tests uh, with this new BB cannon using 5 grain .177 steel BBs. At 125 psi I was getting just over 300 feet per second and I went all the way up to 500 so far on the test, 500 psi, where I was getting just under 500 feet per second. So no great power or huge velocity, but considering this thing uh, is made from scrap and costs me less than five dollars, I'm quite happy with it. I've rigged up a target here for the BB cannon. It's an empty Sprite can hanging in front of my steel backstop with a little cardboard just to prevent BB ricochets. Well, let's go shoot some BBs at this. So I'll be firing at different pressures and the range is 10 meters.
Okay, let's come back and have a look at the target. I think I hit it a few times. Yeah, that's looking like it has a few holes in it. That little BB cannon is actually fairly accurate. Yeah, lots and lots of holes in this sprite can now. This time I'm going to try a more difficult 10 meter target, a piece of wax about three quarters of an inch thick. Oddly shaped, but it measures roughly two by three inches, 10 meters distance. 177 steel BBs. Well, as we can see, the 177 copper colored BB is in the wax. It penetrated about an eighth of an inch below the surface. The through and through hole that you can see that's bigger was from a quarter inch steel BB fired from my other little cannon. It went straight through the wax. The 177 BB, however, just doesn't have the same punch, but it's still fun. Here's a little piece of plastic trim that blew off a microwave a while back. It's about an inch and a quarter by two inches. Again, set up at 10 meters. I'll go try and Hit it with a BB, see if I can. I hit that pretty easily, first shot flew apart. Well, I found most of the fragments on the shop floor, it looks like I hit it just to the left of where it says alarm set. Well, this should be a fairly easy target to hit, a scratched up old CD-ROM held in a little vice. 10 meters distance, 177 steel BBs, let's see if I can hit it. particular shot was at 350 PSI and the CD is destroyed. Results of the CD from scratch to smashed. Single BB. I will eat my banana for a snack, but first I want to see if I can hit it with 177 steel BBs at 10 meters distance. Let's find out. Well, did we hit the banana? Let's grab it and find out, but I think we did. Huh, I don't think I'll have any trouble peeling my banana for my snack. It's uh, very well opened for me. How convenient. Yummy, mushy banana. Well, here's a real easy 10 meter target, a green balloon. 300 PSI BB, 
no more balloon. Well, here's another easy target. This time the green balloon is filled with water. Ten meters distance.